this is the Provoke Prawn, and here I'm comparing the Razer Basilisk Ultimate with the Logitech G502X+. Plus. These are two fantastic mice, which as you'll see from this video, are very comparable in terms of the features, the design highlights, the ergonomics, and a lot more. Now, I've reviewed both of them, and I'll link to those videos in the description. But here I'm going to talk to you about the highlights of them, show you the various different features, say about what I like and don't like, and also give you a sound test at the end of the video so you can hear the differences between the switches and the wheels and other things. So stick around with me now as I go into a bit more detail on what each of these is like. Now, as you can see, they're both very comparable in terms of the aesthetic. The Logitech G502X Plus is obviously white, but you can get a black variant of it. But there are slightly different things about them that make them worth looking at. And some of them are obvious, like Razer has a charging dock for the Basilisk Ultimate, for example, and some of them not so much. Both mice now have optical switches. The Logitech G502X Plus is an upgrade to the original G502 Lightspeed that now has USB-C charging. They've ditched the weight system that was included in the original G502 and shed some weight, but still have that same little dock for your USB dongle. And also it still works with the Logitech's power play system. It uses Lightspeed wireless and doesn't offer any Bluetooth, but it does have this extension so you can put the dongle close to the mouse when you need it. The Razer Basilisk Ultimate comes with an RGB dock. Now you do have to purchase the pack that includes this. You can get the mouse just on its own, but this is worth doing because the charging dock makes for really convenient charging because you can just place the mouse on the little dock when you need to. It does have a micro USB connection though, not USB-C, and you can plug both the mouse in and the dock or swap between them when you need to. Now, weight-wise, they're more comparable than the original G502 was with the Basilisk. You can see the Basilisk Ultimate comes in at about 107, the Logitech about 105, or some sort of variance around there. So they're very similar in terms of that. You'll notice other little differences like the RGB lighting and things like that, but they both have a lot of buttons. The Logitech G502X Plus has 13 programmable buttons, the Razer Basilisk Ultimate has 11, and I'll show off more about the buttons in a little while, but both of them have software level programmability. The Razer has Hyper Shift, which allows you to assign a secondary layer of actions, and Logitech uses the same with its G-Shift technology. So be sure to check out the reviews to find out more about that. But ergonomics wise, you can see they're very similar. They both got that sort of textured grip on either side. They both have a thumb rest with multiple access to buttons down there. And they both have a very nice aesthetic, which is suitable for medium to larger hands. They also both have a similar sort of setup with this front button. You can see that the Razer has this paddle on the front that you can put in there which is basically a DPI shift button and Logitech has this swappable DPI button which you can replace with either a blocking cap so you can eliminate it completely or you can swap around the angle of that front button to adjust it. Now I do prefer the one on the Basilisk Ultimate because it stretches out a bit further as you'll see from the shots towards the back. So if you have a slightly shorter thumb, you might find that the Basilisk Ultimate is a nicer fit. However, they both give you access to multiple buttons on the side, as you can see. Razors are a little bit more sort of tucked away than Logitech's, which do stick out really nicely. Now, in terms of switches, both of them use optical switches, and I'll leave information on that in the description, but both of them give a really satisfying click and obviously also have that longevity where they'll keep going for a long time. And I'll leave a sound test at the end so you can hear the difference between them. But Logitech's upgrade to optical switches with hybrid optical mechanical switches is a welcome change because it means that the switches will last longer and also they respond really nicely while still giving you a really satisfying click. And there's a lot to be said for optical switches because they give you that actuation when they cut the light beam. So it's more accurate and it lasts a lot longer and generally gives you good feedback too. Razer's been doing this a while with the Basilisk Ultimate where it has those optical switches, but Logitech is renowned for using mechanical switches. So now they've made a nice switch which should mean that it lasts longer and gives you better performance. You'll notice that both mice have left and right click in the mouse wheel and satisfying action from both of them there. There's quite some differences between them in this area as well. For example, you'll see that Logitech's has a sort of metal finish to it and Razer's obviously has that RGB lighting around it. 
You'll hear as well, if you stick with me to the end in the sound test, the difference between them. Logitech still has that infinite spinning wheel. Basically, we can press a button and then it will spin and spin and spin. And Razer has an adjustable one where you can adjust the resistance that the mouse wheel gives you from a little wheel on the underside. You can change and adjust that up and down. Pretty interesting, quite subtle differences. You'll see the RGB lighting on the Basilisk Ultimate stands out a bit more with that strip down the side which is customizable in multiple zones. It has 14 different lighting zones on there. And obviously you have RGB on the charging dock as well. In terms of charging convenience, obviously being able to dock the mouse is really nice. But as you saw, if you purchase the PowerPlay mat from Logitech, you can basically keep using the mouse without having to plug it in anyway. So there's some quite interesting differences there. Forgive the flashing RGB here on the Logitech mouse. That isn't what it looks like in real life. It's just how it's been picked up on the camera, sadly. But both of them have very nice aesthetic and I really like them both for different reasons. The G502X Plus might well be my favourite because I've got a soft spot for the original G502 and it's a nice upgrade to that. Quite a bit lighter though so it does feel a little bit more flimsy in the hand but the Basilisk Ultimate is still a solid piece of kit so they're both fantastic for different reasons including specs. So actually the Basilisk Ultimate does win in terms of specs because it has up to 650 IPS and 50 Gs acceleration so it's a bit nippier and a bit more responsive. Stick around now for a sound test. Check out the description for more info. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.